Okay, so I got the uh, the tractor bin plugged in now for several hours, and I'm going to take a look at uh, how cold it is. Um, I got my little IR gun here. Let's take a reading on that metal. It's 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit here. So let's see what the heater itself is showing. Try and keep everything lined up here. 93. That's not very hot. Let's get that glow, that uh, freeze plug. 41. I don't think I saw it spike at. Oil pan, 21, 22. I'm going to pop the hood. <clears throat> Maybe. Say 40, 42. That says 60 at the top of the radiator. Let's check the top of the heater hose here. That says 133. Just keeping all this in mind. Oh, I was going to try and check the uh, the oil temperature, but I know it's going to be cold. Um, I'm going to have to put the phone down for a second. Well, I just took a reading with the, the IR gun right on the end of the dipstick. I pulled it out and tried to hold it right on there, and it was reading 25. So the oil is still pretty cold. So the... Let's see how, how it sounds when we try to start it. I apologize, it's dark obviously. I got the flashlight on the phone. So I'm gonna turn the key here. That glow plug light's gonna go immediately out. We'll try to start it. It smoothed right out, but it did have that little bit of a hesitation just at the start. So what I'm worried about here, I don't know how well it's going to pick it up. There it is. I'm at 280 hours. Between now and 300 hours, this tractor's going to regen. Being so cold, I'm going to turn the tractor off. Being so cold, I'm worried that the ECU, the computer in this thing, Will believe that the tractor is actually warmed up before it really is and try to go into regen mode with that oil so cold and thick so i'm going to run another test tomorrow's supposed to be like six degrees outside so uh tomorrow same time it's currently 6 30 uh give or take a few minutes now uh but Tomorrow about 6.30, I'm going to run the same test. One big difference. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. I have them in my kilowatt. Maybe I can do. This is the meter I didn't show in the last video. I'm wondering if we're getting some sort of voltage, voltage drop from this meter. Um, I don't remember what the rating is on this guy. I thought maybe it'd be strong enough. Maybe not. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow morning before I leave for work... I'm going to unplug it here and plug this cord directly into here. And then that way I eliminate this as a potential um, choke point, I guess, for the wattage. Uh, I could, like I said, I could put my kilowatt on it and, and see what it's actually drawing. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical that maybe if this heater can draw enough 
voltage, enough enough uh, current that it can get hotter and warm the engine up more. Um, I'm kind of disappointed right now about just how cold that is. I mean, it is 20 degrees out here, and that's reading 50. But I did just have the engine running, too, for a, a minute or two. So, uh, so far, I'm not too too happy about that. Yeah, it starts. Uh, it did kind of hesitate there uh, because it is cold. Those glow plugs didn't have time enough to fire. And so, what I think I might end up doing is not running this heater. Leave it, leaving it there not running it, getting a magnetic oil pan heater and just letting the glow plugs warm. And that way the oil gets warm -er, and the glow plugs can warm up the combustion chamber and the coolant will just warm as the engine warms up. I don't know yet. I still, like I said, I've got some more testing to do. So we'll come back uh, tomorrow and check this oil out again. Okay, I couldn't help it. I went inside the house and thought about it for about a half an hour or so. And I decided I need to put the kilowatt meter on here. So, 494 watts at, uh, was that, 1100, uh, <laughs> 112.2 volts and 4.4 amps. And there's watts again. That is through the meter. So let's now go. Unplug this here. That eliminates that altogether. Now let's go back out here to the kilowatt and see what this heater is drawing. Looks like the same volts, about the same amps, about the same watts. So, I don't think it's that meter. I don't think it's even necessary to do that test. I really don't. Um, I can tell you that with this setup, I'm not happy. Uh, I was hoping that I would eliminate cold starts. Uh, in actuality, the ECU that fires those uh, glow plugs actually uh, help, you know, the, with the cold starts, obviously. With this heating the uh, coolant, it tricks the ECU in thinking that the glow plugs don't need to fire when they really do, and therefore the uh, engine experiences a little bit of a cold start which is what this guy is designed to eliminate. What are we at? I don't know. 70 degrees. I had it unplugged for a little while. So, yeah, I'm not happy with it. I cannot recommend this. Uh, if you know, your mileage may vary, um, it may depend on placement. It may depend on the size of your engine. Uh, for me, I, I'm just simply not happy with it. Not with an ECU controlled um, glow plug. Uh, if I had a way of bypassing the ECU and let you know manually control those glow plugs without voiding the warranty, obviously, which I probably void the warranty with that, uh, then maybe uh, I could I could live with it. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and order the oil sump uh, magnetic heater, uh, and I'll leave that plugged in there because well, it's it, Got to connect those two hoses together, but I am I'm not happy with it. Maybe I'll plug it in uh, to help the engine get warm. Maybe I don't know, but yeah, I can't recommend this for my tractor uh, anymore. Uh, it's it kind of sucks because it's kind of really disappointing. Um, a little stick in there. So there it is. Your mileage may vary, like I said, uh, but I can't recommend it. So. All right, thanks for watching.